All right, I want to make one thing abundantly clear as we start this episode, okay? Let's be clear about this. Brant Clark is an exceptional hockey player. I have loved watching him do what he's done since coming back to this league this season. In fact, for anybody who's watching, it looks like Brant Clark is quite frankly too good for the Ontario Hockey League right now. The LA Kings have got themselves a prospect and Brant Clark is going to be entertaining fans in the National Hockey League for years to come. I don't really know Brant Clark personally, but I have no reason to believe he is anything other than a fine human being. But none of this changes the fact that Brant Clark was involved in a pretty reckless play in Game 3 of his Barry Colts playoff series against the Hamilton Bulldogs. In skating past Lawson Shirk and maybe missing a check, Brant Clark blatantly stuck out his leg and collided with Lawson Shirk in a knee-on-knee hit. Was it reflexive? Was it reactive? I don't know. I'm not the one on the ice, but we all saw the hit and we know the kind of injury that can result from it. Now, the good news here, absolutely, is that Lawson Shirk was not seriously injured. He came back later that same game. The problem is, unfortunately, that Brant Clark was only suspended for one game. I don't say unfortunately because I think Brant Clark is a terrible person. I think I made that clear. Remember when I made that clear at the beginning? But what I think happened here is maybe, just maybe, the league decided its suspension, its supplemental discipline on the result of the play, as opposed to the intent and or potential for injury in the play. And that's just not the sort of thing we can be getting into, is it? I mean, if you come by a player with a flying elbow and knock him clean to the ice, but fortunately you catch more helmet than forehead and that player pops back up and finishes the game and no concussion whatsoever, does that player only get a one-game suspension? The other thing that this leaves us open to is the question around whether or not star players get different treatment. I already made it clear, Brant Clark is a star player. When he's in the lineup, the Barry Colts have a better chance of winning. It's as simple as that. And frankly, Brant Clark is good for the league. Fans in other cities would pay their money just to see a player like Brant Clark play in the game. It's good for the gate of the entire league. But you can't be making decisions on supplemental discipline based on that, can you? Unfortunately, when you see two games to a player, a suspension for batting the puck into the crowd, if that's a two-game suspension, how can a knee-on-knee hit and the potential for serious injury only be a one-game suspension? I know this league has placed an emphasis on head hits, and it should have. It's a great place for the league to be. But player safety involves more than just the head. This could have been a serious knee injury that derails a young hockey player's career. Is that the sort of thing you want to say, well, you know, they weren't seriously hurt? Or is that the sort of thing that is now just a one-game suspension? Because there's your bar. So the next knee-on-knee hit in this league, and there will be one, can only result in a one-game suspension, unless you made this suspension different for other reasons. I'm Farwell. It's Friday. Hey, good Friday. Enjoy your fish and chips, and we'll see you at the rink.